This is giant hogweed. The stems are at least as thick as my arm. Notice the red bits. It's full of sap and if that sap gets on your skin it will react with light and burn you severely. Within 48 hours huge blisters will appear. These can reoccur for seven or eight years and then leave you scarred. If it gets in your eyes, you will go blind. This thing will really hurt you. You just do not touch it. You don't touch the leaves, the stem, the flowers, not even the roots. Most reports of giant hogweed turn out just to be cow parsley because in a photograph cow parsley and giant hogweed look just the same and then you get people saying oh that's harmless that stuff we used to play with it when we were kids and make bookies of flowers well you didn't that was just cow parsley it wasn't giant hogweed it can grow really big okay look at the height of this it must be you know, six and a half feet high. But it's not giant hogweed. It's just cow parsley. Looks very similar. But that's just cow parsley. Even if it is six and a half feet high. And it grows along our roadsides. It grows along our footpaths. It grows all along the canal banks. It grows all over the place. However, on Sunday night I was driving along this stretch of road when I spotted that. Now that is giant hogweed. Now be honest, you didn't play with that when you were a child and make bouquets of flowers. These plants are about 15 feet high. They're growing from low up down. It's really dangerous. I immediately reported this to the owners of the hotel car park here. I also reported it the following morning to the council. And if you leave it alone, it will spread and become a giant hogweed forest. As you can see there, there's more of it coming up. These are giant hogweed leaves coming through the brambles. That is not cow parsley. <clears throat> At the other end of the car park, we have some cow parsley. Cow parsley is quite harmless. You don't need to worry about that. Can you see the difference? There's a cow parsley and there's the hogweed. This is a giant hogweed forest just outside Stirling. And you can't really get too close because when you look around you there are giant hogweed leaves growing and you, you mustn't touch any of that. Right, so can you spot the difference? This Oh, no, that's a small giant hogweed <laughs> it's not easy to tell the difference, you know that? You can see what height is that? That must be 10 foot high. Some of these behind me here are about 12 foot high. And then amongst it all, we've got cow parsley here. This is cow parsley. This won't hurt you. 
even the flowers are very similar. There's a close up, right? Okay, that's the cow parsley. There's my hand just to give you an idea of the size. This is a close up of the giant hogweed flower. There's my hand, give you an idea of the size. It's a lot bigger. I mean, it's very, very similar. It's a lot bigger. Even the leaves. Now to get an idea of scale, where's my hand level with it? Okay. The size of the leaves, you see that? These things are giants. It's almost like the exact same plant, but big, really. That is the only difference that you can see. They are big. I mean, that's cow parsley that's in front of me. Grows to about six foot. You get it all over the canal bank, etc. You get it all over Scotland. This isn't a Scottish plant, this is a hogweed. And it's massive, and it's dangerous, and its sap can burn your skin, it can blind you, it can scar you. You, you just don't touch it, you don't touch the flowers, the stem, not even the, the roots. The leaves, the sap, is what, it's what damages you. And if you see it, don't go in amongst it like I've done here. Just stay away from it. And whatever you do, don't let your kids anywhere near it. Make sure they're well warned. Never go anywhere near this stuff. This stuff is really bad news. Well, I think I'll get out of here because, uh, <laughs> oh, there's, I mean, it's everywhere. I don't like it here. I'm out here. I'm gone, man. I'm getting away from this. Now look at that. That is a hogweed jungle. Yeah, there's some cow parsley around it as well. But look at it. These are... I'm, I'm absolutely not going in there to show you how high they are, but they're, you know about maybe certainly over I don't know what I hate there I didn't bring a measuring tape they're big huge trees they're like trees right that's cow parsley okay giant hogweed giant hogweed cow parsley giant hogweed you got it can you tell the difference and these big leaves in the ground Giant hogweed. I'm just thinking, I hope I didn't stumble something. It's not that bloody stuff. I don't know if it's paranoia or not, but my arm is definitely stinging. It can take up to 48 hours to take effect. I'm going to go home and have a shower. Okay, a few days have passed, I've got no burns on my arm and there's been a response to me reporting the giant hogweed somebody has been out and cut down all the harmless cow parsley and left the giant hogweed still there, untouched, thriving away I even told them for the end of the car park. <laughs> and they've, they've went to the wrong end of the car park and cut down the wrong plants. Poor old cow parsley, eh?